Hello everybody, Dick Fig here and welcome. In today's Borderlands 3 item breakdown, we are going to go over the org. I really hope I'm saying that right or I'm going to make an ass of myself. But what makes this gun special is it's all about the org now. Now, those that are familiar with Borderlands 2 might already know this gun because it was in that game also. But there's a whole bunch of things going on with this gun, so this is going to be a little bit longer of a description here. First, this gun shoots two projectiles that come out like grenades and explode. Also, I'm pretty sure the 150% splash damage radius is flat across this gun and part of the bonus. You're going to have to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. I do not think that is part of the prefixes. Now, there's also some hidden aspects to this gun in Borderlands 2. And most of them I feel like are also in three. When you play with this gun, you randomly feel this jump in rate of fire and in reload speed. Not to mention the gun is a spool up one, so you're already getting a faster rate of fire the longer you shoot. But I think sometimes there's a spike in that rate of fire, which really makes me think it still has the passive buff. And in the first one, that was increased rate of fire and reload rate. And it had a chance to ricochet rounds. I do not think the ricochet rounds is in this one. I have yet to see it in Borderlands 3 with this gun. Now, that's all there is about the gun that makes it special. If you guys know where this reference is from, please let me know in the comments. I'm not 100% sure exactly where it's from. But now we're going to talk about, do I think this gun is good? I think it's viable. And I think you can use it and play with it if you Don't want to. Back. And there might be some good builds that go explosive damage and AOE that make it a lot better. My build's currently not set up for this kind of stuff at all. Because the damage is acceptable, the AOE is acceptable. And um, even if the gun's not that good, it is really fun to use. And if you play with a bunch of friends, you can uh, give them all seizures, you can deafen them, you can blind them, and you can annoy them with the uh, ridiculous sounds, bright flashes, and the amount of them that come out of this damn gun. You can see here, we're fighting a badass, and the damage isn't, like, spectacular like I was saying. And I feel like I have to reload a lot, and apparently I forgot to restock ammo. So anyways, that's going to be the damage portion of this gun. And you can see there, that it's not terrible, it's not amazing. So I'm going to go with just dead center, middle of the road, viable. Now if you're looking to get this gun for yourself, and you want to test it out and try one of those explosive builds, or just enjoy the gun in, in general, because it is really fun to play with, or if you just want to annoy all your friends, you can get this thing at Jacob's Estate, and I got it from a horde tinker. There's that whole farm going on right now. I went there and killed the guy like three or four times just to see what it was all about. And this is one of the things that dropped. Anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you all stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I have a huge playlist of a whole bunch of gear videos. You might like that. And if you do, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and be civil when you talk to other people in the comments. And if you really, really like all that stuff, I have another channel called DigFig Gaming. Um, I have links in the description and the comments to it. I do Let's Plays videos and live streams over there. And I really do appreciate you all stopping by. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this gun. And I will see you in the next video. DigFig out!